Can you hear me? What's up? Can you hear me? Now nah, come closer. I can't. <clears throat> so sucker. <clears throat> How do you do this, dude? Come here, bitch. How the fuck can you? What's up, you bitch? <clears throat> How did I'm gonna go? What's up, motherfucker? I'm coming out there. You can't. Dude, I'll shoot you. I'll shoot you. Make this even longer than. I shoot you. I'm coming out there. No, you're not. Hey, I got a question. Can you face away from me? I gotta ask What's you going a on? Questions in the old interrogation room. Okay, wait. Go ahead, cuff me if you can, bitch. Hey, can y'all give me some backup? Oh, 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 so now we know who to push. What's up? What's up? Yeah, he can't handle me alone, officer. He can't handle me. I gotta put him in cuffs because I'm gonna interrogate him. him before I fucking ruin his life. Hey, okay. Tell you what. You, uh, I'll, 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 uh, hey, his PayPal. Is that you there? The number? Bill. Ew. Fuck. Who's still in there? What's up, bitch? Oh. Oh. What's up? Hey, careful. But careful, bones. Oh. All right. All right. All right. Y'all ready? Right, ready? Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready for you. Okay. Hey. Hey. Yo, hey stop. Sir. Sir. Come on. What's, what's up? Sir. What's up? Sir. I, I mean, he's talking trash. Oh, you want, oh. what's up? He's tanking that. He took that to the face. Oh, oh. Damn. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, are you okay? Oh, he's oh. tripping over here. God damn it. He's too quick. Oh, fucking I got him. Go to get him. Wait, he's still moving. He's still moving. He's just tanking all these. Oh, oh. What's up now, bitch? He's out. He's out. He's what? out. Get down. What's up now, you bitch? What the fuck is happening? What's up now, bitch? Sir. Oh. Stop it. Yeah. Got your ass, bitch. Oh. Oh. I'm, going okay. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Stop that. What's up now, bitch? You going to sleep, pussy? Uh, help me. Help me. Help me. Oh, oh, my God. God. Thank you. God. Jesus. Oh Come on, Bones. Dude. Ow. You okay? Sir, did you build him up? Freaking yeah, cuffing you. Him. All right. Uh, All right. Sir, face away from Piper, please. Piper, All you right. know what you're doing. I'm just going to stop God, doing holy it. shit. Thank you, Neil. Thank you. You got, <laughs> hey, we got any detectives and shit? Hell yeah. Uh, we've got, we've got one person in interrogation right now. I'm not sure if we have any other detectives on there. Yeah, I'm not interrogate this guy, too. Listen, all this is time back. served. All right, got all right, sir. I'm just like you. you don't, oh, just, okay. Yeah, you got your your cuffs. Your tough cuff timers. All, all right. Make sure you grab your possessions over T here. Take sir. it down. You know what I mean? But Thank you. Thank you, lady. you know what I'm about to do. Yeah. You you know you know what I'm gonna do. You're 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 a detective, right? You, you, you surely do? rated you rated somebody before, right? Rated? What you rating for? You know, you're a detective, right? So when you waste your time reading and you find nothing, you're gonna be so embarrassed. Ah, that's what they say when they're they got shit in there. Okay, go that's ahead. I'll let you in. I, I, you give me permission to raid your properties. We'll see how this interrogation goes. <laughs> I mean, it's simple as uh, I, I was gonna do, you know, I was gonna do some classic spiels to you. Since you're a detective, you probably know all about them. You know, good cop, bad cop, the classic. Who's you the good cop? Because you're definitely a bad cop. Well, yeah, of course I'd be the bad. Uh, maybe Tinker, right? Tinker, that's your boy. I can bring him as a good Tinker. cop. Fuck that guy. All right, let me put... Let me, let me, let me... No, let me sit, man. All right, all right. Let me cuff you. Too. Cuff you to the table and all that. Working on a uh, processing people. I have a seat, detective. You what do you, what do you want me to call you, sir? First off, before we start all this, you know. You can call hey. me detective. Detective uh, K. Detective K. Yes. De detective K. All right. All right, detective K. You no, know, we ran into a problem today. Oh, let me let me, let me get this recording. Let me get this recorder on. Give me one second. I gotta find it. I I'll be right back. I gotta go grab it from evidence. While you're at it, get my lawyer down here. You want a lawyer? Yeah, get my fucking okay. lawyer down here. All right, let me let me let me look for it. Uh, 
Samantha Sanders, she's busy. That's that's all I'm seeing right now. That's it? Yeah. Okay, that's good. I don't need a fuck no one. All right, all right, all right. Sounds good. I'll be right back. You need food or anything, Mr. Uh, Detective K? No food. Hey. Detective. Got anything in that head? Hey. 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 Detect. Hey. You need food or anything while I'm out here? No, I'm okay. All right, all right. I gotta dig up that Carmen recording too. That could get us out of this. It's a good idea. Alright, I got the camera now. All right. All right, camera's recording, sir. First off, you want to state your your name for the record. Name's Detective K, Mister K, Mister Kevin the Dragon. All right, I'm a senior deputy, Jeffrey Bones, with the SDSO badge number nine hundred three. Uh, our first question today is, uh, what brought you to, you know, doing all this stuff? Today? I'm willing to cooperate and snitch. Okay. On 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 who? What do you who do you, what do you know? I have a recording of an officer admitting to trying to murder a citizen. You got any names on who the officer would be or anything like that? Well, I mean, if I provide this information, how can you help me? Uh, damn. Uh. I mean, I go ahead, really you know. can talk to some of the other officers. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I could talk to them. It involves to an people. officer kidnapping a civilian and trying to murder them and ocean dump them. A uh, civilian? Yes. Is this guy still officer today? Yes. Okay. Uh, as long as, you know, you have... Do you have evidence of this? Yes. Before I move any further? Yes. Full evidence? Yes, I have a recording of them admitting to it. We have actually two, two recordings. All right. You mind if I get some uh, some IA people in here involved before sure, we go any sure further? Sure, And I think if you uh, if you give me this, maybe this RPG, I just charge you for it and don't really search any more properties. I think that uh, that could be good. That could be a good scenario for us. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm in interrogation right now. Maybe I just don't, you know, bat an eye, look, try. I don't, maybe I don't look any further. But this information has to be legit. All right. I'll be right back. Oh, it's legit. Talk to my people. All right. I'm going to turn this recording off. I'll be back. Hey, what up? I got to dig up the clip. Because mm -mm -mm. we did a little slash me records. But I never saved the actual clip. Unless, uh, one of you fucking sexy bastards. How many days ago was this? See if I can find this shit.
Was it before or after the pirate shit? Oh, here we go. This video will work. What time did I get him saying it? I got it. I got the perfect one. When we were recording, he said, uh, yes, he shot Franny and he'll do it again. <laughs> And we know that Tinker got fired because him and Franny tried to kill someone or some shit. <clears throat> so they tried to kidnap Franny to wipe that clear and Carmine was part of it. I need to make sure that you're not going to be bullshitting with us. 100% I'm not bullshitting. He's 100% not bullshitting. Did you give us any hint? Because he's he's on a extremely his partner's extreme. already been fired. Oh my god! Okay, cross if you just cross him. Okay. <laughs> he knew right away. This might, hey, if Tinker cooperates, they might, maybe they can get his job back or something. Who knows? I don't know if, uh, let me get the recording back on. All right. All right. The recording's back on.
back to what we were talking about. We were talking about, you know, potential dirty cop, potential, you know, you got info on him. In return, I'm willing to offer that we don't, you know, dig our whole, our, our hands in your houses, you know. Okay. And I think we can do that, as long as everything's legit and you have evidence. I, okay, I can do that. Mm-hmm. You, uh, you want to elaborate any further on uh, who this is or why they're doing it? <clears throat> well, I made a or phone call about this to Bass as it was uh, happening and the person was missing. And he tried his best to look into it. Uh, but when he questioned these people, they uh, would not tell him anything. So he really had nothing to go off of. Well, I was able to get a recording of this person admitting that they did it and that they would do it again. Really? Okay. All right. All right. Now, before we go in into details on that, do you want to repeat what you said about, you know, what you said while the recording's off? Or if, if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine with me. Repeat what? Okay, that's fine. Why don't I don't I don't repeat what? Oh, you said that somebody was uh you know, his his partner was already gone. Well, you were asking for hints on who it may be. So. Yeah, I was I was asking for hints on on who it may be just to see who we're working with and all that. Right. Mm hmm. You want to repeat uh, what you said on recording? Well, I mean, before we go any further, I need to be. Uh... Guaranteed of my safety here. Is this is this a solid thing here? Yeah, it's solid. You're speaking to the guy that got his partner fired. He's right in front of you. Wait. Wait, wait. So you're saying you're Tinker's partner? No, I got his partner fired. Who's Tinker's partner? So you're saying that his, his, uh... Wait, I'm confused now what you're saying. I'm saying I got that fucker fired. You got Tinker fired? Mm-hmm. What'd you get him fired for? Well, don't worry about that. It was an investigation that they went through. Well, he... Did he try to do something with someone? Potentially, yeah. I think you're on the right track. And Is that he person he tried to do something with was a criminal? Um... Yeah, two other, two other. And they tried to kill someone. Yeah. Okay, so that should be enough for you to know that uh, I'm in the loop and I have some solid stuff to help finish this. Yeah, off I'm, I'm believing you. I am surely believing you. I think uh, I think we both know. You know, I think we both get what we're putting down here, right? Let's we're, just we're say both... someone was trying to cover up their tracks and they just made more tracks. Okay. And uh, we all know that Tinker's partner is Carmine, you know? Yeah, yeah, we know that. Okay. That's who we're talking about, Carmine. That is exactly who we're talking about, right? That's okay. right. Okay, now that the cat's out the bag on Carmine, when was it? How long ago was this? Was it 60 days? Oh, no, no, no this days? was like a week ago. Really? Okay. All right, all right, we could go. I just need, like, a, do you have an exact day or exact time frame, or may, maybe it's on the recording? That way we can, like, if we need to, uh, we can get a whole timeline whenever we do the whole investigation that we're going to have to do. Yeah, I think sense. it was exactly, I think exactly six days ago. Alright, six days. That'd be the twelfth of January, correct? Uh I think it was the thirteenth. Okay, the thirteenth. It's it's and, gonna uh, be somewhere between twelfth and fourteenth. Yeah, okay, okay. And you mentioned that he was covering up tracks and he and he made more tracks when he was doing that. Can you elaborate on that? Well the person that Carmine tried to kill 
happened to be involved with the thing uh, with Tinker. And I guess he was afraid that that person might uh, draw some leads that way. Carmine is going to be involved with Tinker. I mean, I know exactly who you're talking about, but. Um, just... Well, they tried to kill. Uh, I don't know who they tried to kill, but. Uh, I believe that this person believed they weren't involved, and therefore Carmine tried to kidnap him and kill him. So, the kid, the civilian, was a part of Tinker's job, right? No, if no, I'm, no. If I'm saying that right, no, he wasn't. But uh, but they they thought they, they thought he had knowledge, so they wanted to take him out. Okay, he had knowledge of what Tinker and uh, who else did on on. Well, actually, I don't even know who's. All I know is Tinker and I think Carmine. I would assume Tinker since Carmine's Carmine. trying to help. Or unless they're just friends. All right, is well, let's wrap up because I'm getting confused. Yeah, getting I don't know who Tinker did that shit with. Okay. But all I all know right. is Carmine was trying to help cover it up. Well, I know who we did it with. I, I I know that. So if you're trying to hide that, we already know. No, no, I don't know uh, who we did it with. Okay, okay. Well, I can't I can't disclose that with you because it's an ongoing investigation. You're a detective. You understand that. But uh, that's fine that you don't know that because we already have that information. And you said he was trying to, they were trying to like get rid of somebody that may have had information on, on them. And how, how did they go about doing that? They thought, I'll just tell you, because this person wasn't involved, but they thought that Franny saw them, saw them doing it. So they Franny? kidnapped Franny and they tried to fucking kill his ass. They shot him. And Are they... you talking about Francis J. Francis when you reference yeah. Franny? Yeah, yeah. All right. I just want to make sure that's on the record. But um, I talked to Franny. He said he didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. And um, yeah, he was in the ICU for a while. And it was real fucked up. How did he get in the ICU exactly? Uh, I believe they found him at the lighthouse. Shit. Shit. Okay. Um, and how, so... Are you assuming that they did that to Franny? Yeah. Oh, I'm assuming I know they did. And I have uh, Carmine admitting on tape that he shot Franny and he will do it again. Okay. Uh, how can we get access to this tape? You, you, you have it somewhere, maybe? Um, yeah. I just need to get my phone and I'll be able to dig it up. All right. Uh, let the recording be, uh, be known that I'm going to hand him a, his phone. At this time, and I'm gonna un unco uncuff one of his hands from the chair. He's been handed his phone. All right. All right, just give me a moment here. No worries. No worries. I fight. I, I did it. It was me. You did had what? Nothing to do with then it. Then why'd you do it? I, I, I shot, I shot that little bastard. There and we I go. You talking about Franny? Who I shot Franny? Fill it up with some gas. Me. You fucking dirty rat. And I do it again. And if I had the opportunity to shoot you or Bobby or any of you motherfuckers, I'd take it in a heartbeat. In a fucking heartbeat. Really? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Alright. I don't know how I'm going to send this shit to him. Where can I upload a little audio clip chat? Or even just like... A...
Oh wait, this is not snitching chat, because Carmine's a fucking cop. Nothing to do with then it. Then why'd you do it? I... I... I shot... That little bastard. There we go. You're a fucking heartbeat! Really? Yes. Yes. Alright. I have it, um... I could send it to you, uh... Shit, wherever. <laughs> Actually, let me try to get make this easier. Where the fuck can I put this audio clip? Say it again. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get it to me. Yeah, one second. All right, all right, all right. Octo, we're in here. You're good to come in. Oh, uh, I can send it to you on Discord. Yeah. All right. Since it's a file. Yeah. You want me to hit you up? Yeah. All right, sir. about then. Good morning, Oh, gents. how you doing, good sir? Octo, could you uh make yourself known for the recording? Yeah, you're good. Hold on. I can tell you guys. All right, you should have just gone in right there. All right, what's your uh, Star Wars? I go find it. Say it again. There we go. Uh, C, yes, Sorry C. Sorry about that. What's the first three letters? C A Z. Oh, like just uh, for the recording's sake. Sorry, uh, Octavius Scarpetta, Davy Speedy, entering the interrogation at four p.m. local time. I did it. It was me. You did what? Nothing to do with then it. why'd you do it? I, I, I shot, I shot that little bastard. There and we I go. You talking about like Franny? Who right shot Franny? Fill it up with some gas. Me. You fucking dirty rat. And I do it again. And if I had the opportunity to shoot you or Bobby or any of you motherfuckers, I'd take it in a heartbeat. In a fucking heartbeat. Really? Hey, Bones. Yes. Yes. What's up? Bro, that audio uh, recording is crazy. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. yes. Let me, um, I'm going to pause the recording here. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to fill him in, and then we're going to come back, and then, uh, we'll watch it all, all three of us together. Right. All okay, good? Beautiful. Okay, so. Have good. you, uh, been able to take a peek at it yet? Uh, I have it sent to me. I haven't looked at it yet. I'm going to, uh, wait till I give it to Octo. Oh, it's a Octo and fill them all in. It's a masterpiece. All right. All right, sounds good. I'll be right back. I'm gonna turn the recording off. Give us one moment, okay, sir? Short thing, short thing. All right, Jeffrey. They never took the phone back, right? Oh, fuck. Do you need it for anything else? You got any more photos or videos that you're gonna send? All right, I'll grab that off you. It's gonna start. It's just audio, no video, which may not hold up in court, but this is enough to get me out of 
this. Oh yeah, can you imagine this court case though, chat? This would be the fucking one of the funniest court cases ever. <laughs> I don't know if they'll be able to get it in in time though before the new shit. I feel bad for fucking over Carmine just because I like him so much, but at the end of the day, it's his role play and he's a fucking cop. Hey, dog. How you doing? Can you hear me? Yep. A masterpiece, um, like I said. All right, I'm going to turn the recording on. Um, Is he talking? You, I can't hear him. Can you, can you not hear me? I hear you, but not him. Octo, uh, um, yeah, okay, so I can hear you. Okay. Sorry, that missed the K. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out as to what the fuck this was, but, um, let's watch it amongst the, you know, the three of us, and then you can give some oh, commentary. Oh, sure, you guys to, got uh, popcorn and stuff? Yeah, you know, why not, you know? Got a little coffee oh, right here. You'll be, you're gonna think like you're watching a fucking movie when you hear this shit. Is that, is that so? Okay. Um, just before we listen, where was this acquired? Like, was this, like, uh, how did you come about this? Oh, uh, this was in person with him. In person. All right. Well, like, right. let's get the recording back on before uh, yeah. before we talk any further.
So I thought you put it back on. All right. Yeah, that's uh, I'm curious, Mystic. Hey, eh? take my interest here. So yeah, I got a recording in person. Um, um... is the recording on? I'm trying to put. I'm trying to... Beep beep. There you go. I think it's on. <laughs> Fucking old camera, dude. There we go. There you go. It's, it's oh man, it's on. All right, all right, all right. We're good. So pretty much, this guy pulled up to uh, Little Soul talking shit, and at okay. this point, I'd already known what had gone down, so I went ahead and started recording on my phone and stuck it in my pocket so I could get the audio. And I just uh, pretty much talked with him and played with his ego and got him to admit to it. Okay. Um. Little Soul it, was it at the Martinis or was it at the Cubby? Or was it just on the no, street? No, so it was right at the Cubby. I don't have to okay. All right. All right, I'm going to listen to this whenever you guys are. Okay, let me pull it up, and then uh, I'll 3, 2, 1 for us to play it, okay? That way we can just... We're yeah, going to watch it all good. together, and then uh, we may watch it again for you. We might need you to walk us through uh, with what's going on. But we'll, we'll see. Give me one second. Let me pull it up. I'll let you guys know. All right. I'm ready for the countdown, brother. All right, three, two, one, go. The plan? Oh, they're listening to it together? All right. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Now tell me that in gold. Just to just to make sure for the record here, the other voice heard the third individual. That is, uh, I heard Carmen say Bobby, right? Is that Mr. Bobby Brown? Yeah, Bobby Brown was on the block. Okay. okay. He was kind of farther away. So you could hear him like yelling, mm -hmm. and then uh, the other yeah, guy yeah. was uh, on the radio. Gotcha. Yeah, I figured that much. I also heard a gate opening, so I assume that's the, uh, the garage yeah. at the, the cubby, right? Yeah. You among us here, Jeffrey? You yeah, back? I am. I am. Okay. Um, can we ask where you where you guys were in, in when when this happened? When this recording? In the cubby. Yeah. They're at the cubby oh, garage. The cubby. You hear the door okay. opening too. A little so. All right. Yeah. Okay. I know you like that, um, Bones. I know you like that. You can smile. I know so, you. Come on, man. <laughs> so what is the uh, what was the reason behind him trying to tell you that that occurred and you know him wanted to do further more damage to you and your loved ones, uh, if you will, right? Uh, you asking why he admitted to it? Yeah. yeah. Why did he start yeah. talking about? Well, like I said, stuff. I was playing with his ego. I was like, "Get your pussy to even do something like that." I know mm. you're a little bitch. You you know stuff like that. And, Eventually, he got all frustrated and flustered. He's like, I'm not a bitch. I'm not a bitch. And then he said, uh, that's what he said. Okay. Interesting. Um, now, Bones. Yeah. What's up? Is there anything that you would like to ask Mr. K regarding this recording in particular? Um, I'm going to sidebar with, uh, with you. And then okay. we'll come back, and, and then I'll, I'll have questions uh, right. for him. Listen, guys, I just you can make just sure be the... straight up with me. I'm, I'm on your side. Fuck this guy. I, I get that. And I, I just want to make sure that me and him communicate with what we, we want to ask and make sure that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's just We'll be right enough. back, okay? It'll be sure, two sure. seconds. I'll just. Before, uh, before we leave the room, Mr. K, um, do you recall the event of, of the shooting of, of you're quoting with the little guy, assuming that's that's Francis J. Fenner, correct? Uh, yes. Uh, we saw him 
get taken at the strip club, put into a trunk uh -huh. by Carmine. Uh, then he drove off. We lost sight of the car, and that's when we went looking for him. That's when I called Bass, and I told him what was going on. Bass tried to figure it out. Carmine wouldn't admit to shit, so. Mm, okay. Okay. I, uh, I figured I smoked. And then, uh, right, thank you. Francis showed up in ICU. Yeah. I'm aware of that. Okay. All right, Mr. K. Give us one moment. Okay, let me talk to my colleague and figure out what the first steps forward are. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Thank you for this. How are the cops making it weird? What are you talking about? They're doing their job. They're trying to make sure I'm not lying. And they're trying to make sure everything lines up so when they try to get Carmine, there's no loopholes, you know what I mean? <sighs> yeah, I was planning on bringing out the photos with his girlfriend if it comes to it. I think he even sent me a picture of uh he said I think he even sent me like a text like this is where Franny died or some shit <clears throat> I want on record that I <laughs> that I slept with his girlfriend Chat, uh, I'm gonna be real. My apartment is stocked up with fuck. I have uh, my one apartment. I have two rocket launchers and a missile. My other apartment I have a missile. I have money bags. I think I have drugs too. Oh, we may have gotten like I don't know what that charge is, but definitely an excessive amount. What would they do if they found three RPGs and multiple and multiple rockets? Is that enough for them to? Hey, but this new system of not having stashes makes you go to the go to these steps. So actually, fuck it. It makes you uh, you gotta pursue more RP to save your ass. Oh my god, yeah, some of those RPGs would come back to other scenes. Definitely.
All right, Mister. How you doing, boss? What's going on, sir? Um. All right, I got some questions, and I think uh, Bo's might do as well. Um, I think he's quickly talking sure. to uh, another one of our colleagues for the time being, but he'll, I'm sure he'll be here soon. Um, uh, just to make sure the recording's still on. It seems like it is. Okay, beautiful. Welcome back, Bones. All right, um, Mister K. Let us try and sort of form a timeline here between the recording and the event and uh, what happened after that. Because I do have something that I want to ask you. Sure. Um, so I've witnessed um, yourself and, you know, half the city retweeting a certain post you posted, um, placing a bounty on both Tommy Tinker and Carmen Costello's, uh, you know, their lives, essentially. Right. The, you know, was this uh, the event that triggered that bounty being placed? Uh, the kidnapping of Francis? Yeah, the, the shooting and the kidnapping of Francis. Yeah, I just wanted to scare them a little bit, but obviously that bounty never got cashed in because they, he never got killed. Yeah, I got I got you there. Um, I'm just trying to figure out as to... Because we've seen those twads, and we just want to make sure that this is tied to that, you know, for our sake. Right. Which, uh, you know, it makes sense. Okay. Right. Um, I will have to add to that is that, you know, Future reference, a bounty is not the way forward, Mr. K. You My man, you freedom of speech, man. Okay. I know, I'm just saying. I'm just <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can solve things different than that, okay? Right. Right. Um, I'll learn from this, I'll learn from so this. So, the, the, the timeline. Um, so, the event of him getting shot and kidnapped, that being Francis J. Franner, yep. the twats and the recording. Could you kind of tell us as to how far apart those three moments of time were? maybe days or hours or i don't know how much time there was in between so let's try to figure that out so from when he was kidnapped till this yeah, recording the kidnapping the mm -hmm. bounty being placed and the recording now, those three moments in time i want to kind of specify and figure out as to how far apart they were okay let me think exactly because i don't remember if when i talked to him the same day or the next day but it's okay he was kidnapped somewhere from the 12th to the 14th okay um at the Vanilla Unicorn, we saw him getting stuffed into a trunk by Carmen. I don't remember exactly what the car you? looks like. Maybe yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, Bass okay. has right. that uh, report somewhere because I told him on the phone, uh, you know, what he was driving and stuff. I remember, I think it was a black yeah. car. I'll go digging for that. Don't worry. Um, we tried to chase him for a little bit. We lost him because, you know, some fucking dog shit driver was driving. Mm -hmm. And then um, about an hour or two later, Apparently, Franny was found at the lighthouse or something and was in ICU. I got called down by a doctor and we visited him. And that was that. Right. Did, and uh, either that night or the next day is when I talked to Carmen. What was uh, okay. Francis's injuries like? Uh, he was, was he shot? shot. He was shot in the head. And as Francis stated, said, the doctor said his brain was so small that uh, really didn't do much to him. Just went right through his no. head. <laughs> Would you okay. say that the injury caused to his brain decreasing in size is something that is related to this case, or do you think he's always had a very small brain? No well, I mean, I mean, if he got shot in his head, his evolution might kick in there, and his brain has to shrink even smaller now to help save himself. Yeah, you have to, put, to prevent further blood trauma and exactly. All types. exactly. I, I, you know, you got a point there. Um, you almost feel bad for the guy, you know. All right. Um, okay. And also, now, if bounty, um, I may be able to mm -hmm. look at my phone and because I had some text with him, which might uh, get some better dates. With, with Francis? No, no, with uh, Carmen. Carmen, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Let the recorder know that I'm going to be handing uh, Mr. K his phone back. Okay. So, the bounty. Was the bounty placed before Carmen made this uh, statement to you and your friends, or was this. Was a bounty place after that was placed right when I found where when I uh after we lost them, gotcha. when he kidnapped them. Okay, all right. So you were you kind of put that bounty as like a desperate attempt <laughs> to try and find them. Yeah, exactly. And then I called okay. Bass. Okay. All right. All right. Let me see here real quick. Oh, there's a couple of pictures of me fucking his girlfriend here. Let me go past those. Yeah, I've heard some rumors about that.
Okay, yeah, so the day I got him admitting to that was later in the day of that the same day that he did it. Okay. All right. So the time you saw I believe. Um, I believe. The, the time you saw Costello or Carmine for the record, uh you already had the bounty outstanding, correct? No, 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 no. Oh, the bounty came afterwards. Wait, wait, repeat that? Yeah, the I, bounty you placed, I the million dollar bounty. Honest, I'm, not too, I'm not too certain on the timeline. Is it? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out whether... Okay, so what I'm trying to get at here, Mr. K, is that I'm trying to figure out whether the bounty of a million dollars placed on Carmine and Tinker... No, no, placed. this was after the bounty, after that show was over. Okay, gotcha. Right. I'm just trying to make sure that, you know... That no, no, yeah, these were two separate you know. things. Okay. Gotcha. All right. I don't fucking remember, to be honest. Um, what to did think you? Here. They lost them. Uh, how did you guys? Uh, I mean, I'm, I guess y'all saw them actually. Yeah. Uh, do you know what were they wearing? Or did they have any like any uh, any like? Were they wearing their uniforms still? Were they off duty? What, yeah. What, what how were you they doing? No, no, they were not in their uniforms. So they were okay. off duty. Yeah. So they were in civilian clothing. Yep, and it was a civilian car. Okay. okay. Do you know what kind of car it was? The description of it? I don't recall exactly, but it should be somewhere if uh, Sam Bass report. report right? Okay, I'll have a look. Okay, at okay, yeah, yeah. Um, were they wearing any masks? Like you were hundred percent. Yeah, no mask. Them. Okay. okay. Carmine and Tinker. Okay. Um, I also have a beautiful picture that he actually uh, he made. It's he made a, a picture of. Him and Tinker with a gun. And uh, Cashin says, let me know how the poor boy is doing. Oh, would you please provide that to us, uh, Mr. K, if you'd be so kind. Sure, let me get that for you. Yeah, yeah. You have, you you have you my, my number. To, you can text it to me. Text it to Bonds. I'll give you my number as well, just in case anything else comes up in the future. <laughs> All right, there's my <laughs> number. Let me know how the poor boy is October. doing. This dude is fucking dumb. number up there. Uh, the 415, is that you, Bones, or is that Mr. K? Uh, that's me. That is me. Okay, 415 okay. is me. <laughs> He's fucking stupid. I just want to make sure everybody's good. Uh, while, the, while everything's still going on, does anybody need food or anything in the middle, in the middle of this? I don't want anybody sorry. starving. Can you guys text me so I can send it to you? Yeah, uh, give me a number again. Yeah. 628 447 2928. Uh, you text him, uh, yeah, I'm on it. And then uh, I'll grab the phone back after he sends it. Oh, should I also include the uh, phone number in this picture? Uh, if if possible, yes, please. Yeah. You can also send a picture of the uh, your entire phone, like a screenshot of your phone, and then the, the image separate as well. So we have the image file and a screenshot of your phone showing that it's the number present, right? This helps us with our work. And, uh, keep things organized. <laughs> Run your thing, titty ass, have a motherfucker. There you go. Mm. It also seems that the picture taken there, uh, assuming it's an edited photo, I'm not entirely sure, right. uh, is taken from the perspective of potentially Francis J. Fenner being in the trunk, right? So right. clearly uh, enticing yeah, you and you can Francis see what they're implying. Exactly. Damn, I. Uh, this is also quite worrying to me personally. Um, and they already know Tinker's involved because we said Tinker when we made the report yeah, to I'll, grab my, yeah. I'll grab a phone to everything back as well. Drop. And you see that insult he made to me? It's ridiculous. Let me see. Yeah, it's uh but you, can quote it. you can quote it. You know. <laughs> so just for the record, um Carmine is here seen 
texting Mr. K saying, um, Orin Gutang, titties have an ass motherfucker. Um, <laughs> that is so, so, um, that yeah, is I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't want to bring that back up, but it's for the record. So you're going to have to, you know. It's all right. Have to Shortly after okay. that, I had sex with his girlfriend. Good, good. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, let's say, say, right? Make love, not war. Exactly. I promote that behavior. <laughs> um, shit. This is... This is this is good. I just want to let the like on the recording know. I think uh, at this point, it's it's good to it's good to ask. Has uh, has has he returned and done anything more since since this happened? Um. Oh, yeah. I had to run in with him today, actually. Today. Oh. This this particular day. Well, I'm gonna be honest. After all this, I've been trying to get back at him by, uh, you know. Getting with his girlfriend and stuff, so uh, pretty much. Right. I was at his girlfriend's house, chilling, and he came by, and there was a whole fiasco. <laughs> he tried to attack me and assault me, but uh, luckily I had my boy there, so after I was assaulted, my boy knocked him unconscious, and then we just left. Okay. Uh, Who is your boy? We're not oh, it was Dean, yeah, yeah, it was Dean Quincy. Assault, we were just there, oh, you know, Dean chilling Quincy. at his girl's place, because this girl, you know, she finds us attractive, yeah. I'm going to be real. All right. Um, so Carmine seems to keep on. Is he coming after you? Is he or is he coming after just anybody in uh, like like Francis or who all? He comes after he anybody after? he wants. He's a fucking psycho, I think. Okay. Right. Is he doing this while he's on duty? Oh yeah. So today the interaction that you had with him, where uh, it turned into an altercation, and he ended up assaulting you, and your buddy knocked him out. Uh, was he on duty at the time? Um, yeah, he had his uniform on, so I guess that means he's on duty, right? Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, I got some more questions just related to the picture you said and the people involved. Um, so, as you can see in the picture clearly, plus the statements you've made prior that Tinker was clearly involved in all this in the kidnapping and shooting with Francis J. Fenner, including everything that has followed since. Now, I'm curious as to, uh, you know, as you might have be made aware, I think, your husband fired from the Unified PD. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's why I haven't really... Uh... Yeah, so ever since his firing, which has been... I forgot the exact date, but it's been in several days now. Has Have you seen Tinker in proximity of uh, Carmine off-duty any, by any chance uh, since? Or have you seen him hanging around? Actually, no, I haven't. I haven't at all. Okay. Have you seen Mr. Tinker anywhere near Little Soul since his firing? Yeah, I see him hanging out there here now. Okay. Would you say he's a frequent visitor? Uh, I wouldn't say frequent because what he's only been fired like two days, right? Yeah, well, a lot, you know, time goes fast in the city. You you do a whole lot on the day, you know. You can spend your whole day standing around a little store. You could move around the city and, and, and make new friends, right? So, I've only ran into him a few times there. Okay, okay. Um, Carmen himself has he been around a little store often since this whole event has taken place? The event being kidnapping and shooting and this recording. Uh, since after recording, maybe like one time, once or twice, and then other than that, at the house, he hasn't, uh, I haven't seen him in a few days until today. And, and he's been on duty ever since, right? Every time you've seen him, he's been on duty? Is correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, now has his lovely girlfriend, I think her name is Lemon, is this correct, Mr. Guy? Well, it was Sooty, but I guess that went down today, but now, yeah, his other girlfriend is Lemon. I yeah, found that out today, actually. So, uh, did you have intercourse with, with Lemon or the other one? Well, me and Lemon might have, you know, a little spark going, but we'll just see where that right. goes. <laughs> so, in the event of you blowing her back out, because, you know, your records procedure here, Mr. K, I'm fully aware of your actions. Oh, so you, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Um, has, have any of the two girlfriends uh, mentioned Tinker or Carmine in any sort of way during this intercourse? Uh, Doran, no, but uh, Sooty was there talk. today uh, during the whole fiasco at her house. When Carmine showed up. Interesting. So, I mean, basically so what happened was I, I called Carmine today. And I said, hey, hey, how you doing, Carmine? Uh, can you do me a favor? Can you see if I left my wallet on your dining room table? Uh, I lost it. And then he said, well, well, what? Well, what are you talking about? What do you mean? What are your wallet? So then I was like, fine, I'll show you. So then I texted him a picture of me uh, with his girlfriend. 
Mm. And then I said, oh, I'll spend it in the night. You know, we're just friends. We're just friends. But uh, you see my wall around? And then he had a whole like, mental breakdown and shit. And yeah. So then I called him back. I said, yo, did you check my wall? I was there? He's like, fuck you, make your day. So I just went to the house myself and said he let me in. Uh, I found my wallet. I was with my boy. Dean was with me as well. And while we were there, I just happened to have to take a shower there. So, you know, I kind of was naked in my boxes, chilling on the couch after. And Carmine showed up and oh, he was not happy. <laughs> now, do you think he, it was a, you know, a, just a random coincidence he ended up being back at his home at that time? or? Well, I think it's because I asked him to go there for the wallet. But uh, oh, right. I figured he wasn't because it was taking forever. It was like a half hour I didn't hear back from him. Right. Yeah. It's, uh, okay. Uh, well, I'm glad you and your friend fuck, Dean made it out alive. You know, based on That's his uh, yeah, I mean, based on actions. He did wobble me. I was on the ground for a little bit. My boy Dean fucking knocked him unconscious. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. I, I, I. It seems like he's a repeat offender of uh, doing fucked up shit recently. Uh. Maybe I think. We will take in this all in a note, and uh, mm -hmm. we'll, me and him are going to talk, and we'll, we'll see if we have any more questions. But for now, uh, I I don't really. We'll, we'll see. We'll, yeah. we'll see. I'm going to sidebar with him, and then uh, we'll figure something out. Sure, right? sure. I'm going to turn the recording off. Yeah, give us a moment, okay? We're back momentarily. No okay. problem. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah, we're shaking it up big time. Chat, check this out. We holding it down, bro. We holding it down for America. Yeah. Most watched channel. For each country. Oh, this is just the top five. Is this? What is this? Hey, I'll fucking take it, America, son. What is Garena Free Fire? This is a mobile game, right? Mobile, damn, mobile. Man. Mobile games are fucking big on Facebook. Right, me, Rami, Randy are probably carrying the GTA shit. this Garena Free Fire. Oh, it's a mobile game. All games are big. I think that mobile games are massive in other countries. I don't, I don't think console, depending on the country, right? I think some countries mobile gaming is way more popular than console gaming, right? Or am I wrong? And those countries are probably heavy uh, Facebook users.
All right. Oh, um, Mr. K. I'm going to turn on the recording. We'll wrap it up. All right. All right. Um, I've tried to dig for the report on the th thing Bass mentioned to you uh, in regards to the kidnapping, defeat you, Carmine, and taking care of everything. Um, nothing has come up so far, so I'll, I will contact Bass himself and ask as to uh, where that went, because it could be a locked report that I don't have access to, nor neither does my friend and colleague here. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, it could be a sensitive, you know, subject due to the fact that it's involving an officer, or you know, at the time two officers. So it's highly likely that the report is uh, is locked for certain individuals that are investigating it. So uh, that, that'll be something that we follow up on. So with that being said, because um, we are going to get uh, we'll try to get involved here and, and figure out as to what's going on based on the statements you made today and the recordings that we have from this inter interrogation session. Um, so are you open first to contact you at a later time to further? Maybe ask some questions in regard on the investigation for the kidnapping of Francis and then, you know, involving Carmen and Tinker. Short thing. Okay. Uh, beautiful. Now, that being said, I think the way forward here is that Bones will charge you with your current charges for today. Um, we're not going to be sending you to Bonenbrook. We'll be yeah. letting you walk out of here with some parole and a fine. Um, and that's, that's going to be it. So whenever we have something else that comes up based on the talks we have with Bass, we'll contact you and uh, see where we go from here. I do yeah. want to thank you for your cooperation. Uh, it means a lot to us being a PD. Um, as we said, you know, Tinker already has his punishment. Um, and the name Carmen does keep, you know, coming up on various occasions. So I think for the investigation's sake, it's uh, this is vital. So thank you so much, Mr. K. Um, yeah. And I want to promote this behavior going forward. So and that being said, let's get you out of here. Um, bunch of yeah, care a, everything. I'll take care of uh, your bill and all that, and you're going to be released on parole. Uh, mm -hmm. we'll treat, like I said, uh, the RPG as just a possession charge today, and I'm not going to go digging for anything more, because you were a man of your word, and I, I do mm -hmm. believe you with, uh, that you had evidence, and it, it looks legit as I'll get out. It's a fair uh, name. yeah. And I hope you understand that I'm a man of my word now, too. And I appreciate no, that as well, guys. In the right, case um, of it ever transpiring into a court case, are you willing to t testify oh, yeah. with... Testimony. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. That's uh, that's good to hear. I'm sure we're gonna we're gonna be bringing this up to uh, other investigators that have been working with us along the along the way with the past case, and uh, we'll see what's, we'll see if we have anything else. Uh, I'll send you a text so you have uh, my contact information. Uh, and we'll, is what's the best way to contact you? Do we call you or we text you? Uh, either or. Either or, really. All right, all right. If I don't Sounds answer, good. just text me and I'll get back. All right. Uh, this is uh, the charges today. I'm going to read you uh, read you the charges. It's 8x attempted murder. Uh, possession of firearm class 3 for the RPG. Possession of class 1 for uh, the, your pistol. Possession of oxy for the oxy. Grand Theft Auto for the S plus boost car. And possession of contraband in the second degree. For all like the the dongle and all those other things, how do you plead to those charges today? I plead guilty. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna get you uh get you fined up, and then uh you're gonna be getting parole of 240 months. Okay. All right. Just uh, this is the first time really meeting here, Mr. K. Just so you're aware, I'm Octavius Carpetta. I'm uh, people call me Octo. I'm part of Davies PD. I'm a cadet, uh, but I've been involved in various cases. Why I've been approached to assist today with Jeffrey Bonds. Well, once again, thank you for your time, your cooperation, and uh, ideally, you know, try not to commit any more crimes. But uh, I know it's not going to stop you, but I still got to say it because you know, a lot of potential in you there, Mister K. It's a shame to see you go that this, well, this, this I, crap, you know? I can respect you. I used to be a detective myself, so I know oh, what it takes. That. Go for the right cloth, it seems, sir. Well, as you can see, I do great work with karma, you know, so. Uh, you're not bad, you know. I'm quite impressed. Follow me, Mr. K. We're gonna grab your possessions uh, and get you out. Prevail today, in the future. All right. All right. Kill a bunch of cops, we get set free. Fuck, I'm right. You still <laughs> blow my mind with how uh, sick you are. Mindset, but got you, brother. Guess you're not all that bad. Yeah, you know, I'm a pretty good guy. Go ahead and grab all your possessions here. All right. So you got your katana and your hammer as well? Yep. 
Look at that. All right. And we'll be we're good. Going to the lobby. We're going, uh, yeah, uh, which yeah, way are we going? Yeah, yeah. we'll go up to the lobby. I want to make sure everyone's aware that you know, if, they, if they witness you in the PD, that you know, you're able to be worked with. You're not just this die hide, no, you know, budget That's type right. of criminal. You know what I'm saying? I want to promote this behavior, so. Well, luckily, there's nobody here. You guys work with me, I work with you. You know how it is. Hey, listen, yeah, yeah, listen. Yeah. I, I like that. You got so. any more dirt on any cops? I'm the, I'm, I'm the guy that gets rid of them. Oh, if it comes There's to nothing cops. Nothing worse than being I a dirty you. cop. All right. Sounds good. I'll send you a text. It's Jeffrey Bones. All right. All right. It's a pleasure, guys. Have a good day. You too. Good day, Mr. K. Be safe. I will be in contact, all right? I'll keep all right. Last time we talked, won't be in custody. <laughs> <laughs> all right, buds. Let's, uh, let's get to work. Front of the rental. All right. We could definitely get some dirt on cops. You know, some hardcore shit. See, sometimes L turns into a jab. 